Okay, big week ahead. Saturday, I'm headed up to Indiana. I'll get there tomorrow afternoon-ish. I do have a storage unit up there. That's quite convenient. Take my bed out, take my hitch out, take my fuel tank out, all the extra balls, dance and stuff I have in the bed that I got a good deal on the other day. Um, pretty much to get all the stuff I can get out of the truck as possible because Monday I'm getting a 2021 F-350 Dually flatbed. Uh, Monday will be a very busy day. Uh, I will uh, get the new truck get my trailer out of the shop because it is done new axle installed I'm going to weigh the two of them see what number that comes up with and that will determine whether I'm going to run IRP or not for those of you that don't know um, that's basically doing IFTA because I'll be plated over 26,001 pounds uh, Basically, my goal is if the truck and trailer weigh 15,000 pounds or less, uh, we'll stick to 26,000 pound plates. If she's anything over 16, I'll just go ahead and plate it for uh, 38 or 40. And I'll have to do IFTA, which is fine when I'm doing trailer loads, but if I do singles, it kind of sucks because, well, it just sucks. Um, And, uh, once that's done, delease this truck, lease on that truck. I gotta swap insurance off of this truck onto the new truck, going to a different insurance company, going with OIDA because the truck and trailer will be $208 a month versus $280 a month for this one. So now I get to insure an extra piece of equipment and I save money. That's a win win for me. Uh, then go to Dan's Hitch or Dan's Service Center and Elkhart. See if we can't do some horse trading on this 80 gallon tank for something around 110, 120 gallons. And then probably spend all day Tuesday um, putting the bed in the back seat. I'll try to do some videos on that. Uh, also, going to put in the bigger tank. Uh, the 3500 dually will have a flatbed on it so that'll make tank installment easy with the exception of the cut a big ass hole up in the front and the cut a big ass hole in the back the back hole ain't no big deal but the front hole kind of an issue because you need the tank to sit on something so anyway uh, I'll try to do just some little snippet videos on that kind of different content than me just bitching and moaning uh, I do appreciate the ones who've subscribed uh, if you don't subscribe please like uh, I'm literally doing this channel one to cure my boredom two to share a little bit of my experience and three I haven't promoted the channel in any way shape or form other than hashtags and the comment section and titles as you guys have seen uh, I don't expect to be collecting hundred thousand dollar checks from YouTube I don't plan on being huge I'm just kind of really seeing how far this will grow with no word of mouth but uh, I'm going to start doing some more uh, loading video unloading videos with the trailer uh, there's some on there I've done a few, or well, I've done one that's probably very aggravating to a lot of people, um, but I'll try to do better on that, and, uh, well, that's about what this uh, coming week's going to look like for me, so, hopefully Wednesday I'll be able to roll out with a trailer load going somewhere decent. My fear is it'll probably be a shitload before I get a decent load, so time will tell and you'll know about it. So anyway, y'all be safe.